right. Um, hello, everyone. This is the next session of International Education Week. And then today we will be joined by um, Jace Livingston. He is an executive director of American Councils for International Education. And Zarnigor, Zar who is the coordinator of USKF uh, program in Tajikistan. And please, Jace and Zarnigor, the floor is yours. Great. Thank you very much, Mehroj. Well, as Mehroj said, uh, my name is Jace Livingston. I'm executive director at American Councils um, at our office here in Dushanbe, Tajikistan. And I'm joined by Zarni Gord, our uh, USKF coordinator. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the USKF um, program and, and a little bit of an overview of the, uh, the application process. Um, I'll, I'll just start out by giving kind of an overview of what what USKF is, um, and we have a quick slideshow for you today. So, Matraj, if you could move us to the first slide. Great. All right, so um, go ahead and go to the second slide, Matraj, if that's all right. All right, so what is USKF? It's the, U the US Central Asia Education Foundation. Um, this foundation has been running the USKF uh, scholarship program uh, since 2007. And um, this, this foundation uh, is comprised of a board of directors, um, four of whom have to be US citizens. And, um, and oversees the, the, the major policies uh, of the program and, and uh, basically gives oversight. Um, since 2019, the Department of State has now become a sponsor of the program. So we're really excited to be working with the US Department of State and of course the US Embassy in that regard. And then, of course, American Councils. Uh, we are an international education uh, pro, uh, organization. Uh, we, our home office is in Washington, D.C. Um, and, of course, we have an office here in Dushanbe. The next partner is our uh, partner university. That's American University of Central Asia, which many people probably know is located in Bishkek. The, the core of the AUCA, the American University of Central Asia, is to provide a Western style and, and English language uh, instruction um, to regional um, uh, bachelor's students. Uh, next slide, please, Matt Roach. All right, so the foundation's mission is to encourage and assist the development and growth of a vibrant open market private business sector in Central Asia uh, by supporting the quality of and affordable access to Western business know-how and practices at select universities of higher education in the region that have adopted Western curricula and teaching methods. So overall, the goal of USKF is to bolster and increase uh, the strength of Western style business in, in, in the region. Next, next slide, please, Matt. All right. So USKF alumni are working with a wide range of international corporations. Um, they're leading domestic enterprises and smaller medium-sized businesses throughout Central Asia and in other countries and other regions throughout the world. Uh, several have demonstrated outstanding skills uh, in entrepreneurship and have even started some of their own businesses. Uh, here in Tajikistan, we have 48 Tajik alumni who uh, who are actually not just here in Tajikistan, they're worldwide. And they're working with a wide variety of organizations, uh, some of whom partner with USKF. Uh, one example of, of a local uh, entrepreneur uh, is Karim Khan Bahadurov. Uh, he founded his own business, Agaz, uh, which is a data, data analytics um, and book, bookkeeping service 
um, here in Tajikistan. Uh, another great example, um, or two more great examples, are Nagora Burhanova and Nilufar Omarova. Uh, they started Omnam.tj, which some of you may know brings, uh, basically connects um, communities with women who can cook or bake and make homemade food. Uh, another one is Nurbash Sartib. He's the founder of Cool Design Pro, a design studio uh, based locally here in Tajikistan. Uh, Maharaj. All right, so uh, here's just a quick example of some of the organizations that, uh, that, that the alumni of the USKF Enterprise uh, uh, Fellowship um, are, are currently working with. Um, some of these uh, they have interned with um, and some they hold actual professional positions with right now. Go ahead, Maharaj. All right. Uh, throughout Central Asia, or from the countries of Central Asia, there are currently 94 U.S. Uh, KF fellows. Um, these fellows are leaders, innovators, role models, and active members of the university communities. Uh, they, they are consistently among the top students and are prize winners of prestigious uh, uh, competitions. Um, just to give you an idea, in uh, 2020, 46% uh, of the fellows graduated with honors, and these fellows have started over 20 university clubs. Um, and of course, all of these clubs are taking place up at uh, AUCA. Go ahead, Metroj. All right. Thank you, Jace, for giving an overall view about the program. And now I'm going to... Uh, take the scene and go with the uh, main program criteria and um, the main program info. All right, the program eligibility. Uh, applicants must meet the following program criteria. They have to be citizens of uh, four countries from Central Asia, which are Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, and Uzbekistan. Uh, they have to be interested in receiving an education in one of the uh, majors. Uh, which are business administrations, economic software engineering, and applied mathematics and informatics. And they require uh, financial support in order to gain access to higher education. And they're not AUCA students at the time of applying to the USKF uh, fellowship program. Next slide, please. Okay, the fields of study. A life-changing opportunity for students from Central Asia uh, to pursue a Western-style internationally accredited uh, education at AUCA uh, located in Bishkek in the fields that are in high demand in the modern job market, uh, which are business administrations, economics, software engineering, applied mathematics, and informatics. The business administration program at AUCA is one of the undergraduate programs supported by USKF and the School of Interpre Entrepreneurship and Business Administration, shortly as EBA, uh, develops creative entrepreneurs who are eager to change the landscape of business in Central Asia and beyond, as EBA prepares graduate and undergraduate students for real world settings using real world experiences such as case studies, team projects, business plans, and beyond. Concentrations within the business administration major includes finance, accounting, business analytics, business and law, PR and marketing, management and entrepreneurship. Economics. When, join, when applying for economics, you will join a wide network of young leaders who are passionate to change future of their countries. The university's bachelor has been called the most respected degree in Central Asia and it is ranked by QSEECA University ranking as one of the top 200 schools. Software engineering, uh, AUCA bachelor's program software engineering uh, prepares specialists who are able to apply a systematic approach to the development, operation, and maintenance of software to use engineering principles in the process of creating and designing software. 
graduates can work in manufacturing research, development, financial and banking institutions as a software engineering, computer network administrator, project managers, and etc. Applied mathematics and informatics. The program provides basic education in mathematics and computer science. You will gain in-depth knowledge of disciplines such as mathematical analytics, definition equations, probab probability theory, and mathematical statistics, uh, computa computational mathematics, data structures, and other uh, important uh, knowledge about the soft about uh, informatics. Next slide, please. Okay, what the benefits of the scholarship and what is uh, the financial support? Uh, USKF offers full scholarship to successful candidates. It offers tuition fees uh, to cover an educational institution fees uh, for teaching services, uh, book allowance. Uh, funding for purchasing university books, educational materials, monthly stipends to offset for living expenses related food or other needs that student will need during their studies in AUCA and life in Bishkek, living, during the living in Bishkek, and housing allowance to cover their housing expenses. Uh, if they're staying in the dorm, you, um, the, the USKF program will pay the dorm fee, but if they're staying outside the dorm in the, and renting an apartment, they will be paid uh, the housing allowance. Uh, travel stipends to cover uh, their round trip travel expenses uh, to their home country and back to Bishkek. All right, next slide, please. And our academic support. Uh, USKF organizes individual and group tutoring. Uh, private additional uh, tut what is tutoring? Uh, tutoring is additional private classes for students experiencing academic difficulties in challenging courses. While you are, for example, if you're taking math and it's hard for you and you're not uh, catching up with other students and your uh, grades are low and you need help, you can get tutoring, math tutoring or other classes and uh, keep up with uh, your peers. Next slide, please. Okay. Uh, USKF advising, summer internship, mentorship programs, workshop, professional development activities. USKF coordinators take care not only the administrative aspects of the program, but they help fellows with adjustment to university, personal or academic challenges through monitoring procedures, reg regular check-ins and one-on-one -on -one meetings. Uh, internships, USKF provides the opportunity for select rising junior fellows to acquire professional experience through fully funded summer regional internships in local or international companies in their uh, home countries. Mentorship program, peer mentors from older classes are assigned to each new fellow to help overcome adjustment, personal and academic challenges. Uh, fellows who are, for example, the new coming fellows, the freshies, they called freshies, uh, they will be assigned mentors who are sophomores or juniors who study at AUCA, who will mentor them and help them with their academic and uh, even personal life. Uh, per professional development activities, special trainings, seminars, workshops on a variety of topics conducted by professional trainers or program alumni aimed at enhancing soft skills and improving professional knowledge. So also uh, fellows and alumni have, uh, have a chance to apply for professional development activities and uh, even organize a professional development activities themselves. Next slide, please. Okay, quick facts about AUCA. Uh, American University of Central Asia is an international multidisciplinary learned community in the American liberal arts tradition, which is founded in 1993 
AUCA is the first university if in Central Asia uh, to offer US accredited degree in liberal arts program through a partnership with Bard College located in the United States. AUCA is a small but powerful engine of intellectual freedom and critical thinking that fuels education in caring, corruption-free, student-centered environment. AUCA's modern campus facilities and technologically advanced rooms create the necessary comfort for students in all means. Next slide, please. Okay. One of the most diverse universities uh, and uh, students of, from come over uh, from 30 countries and international faculty represents 17 countries. Uh, the low students to faculty ratio seven to one means that uh, it allows students uh, to receive more individualized attention, creates a favorable learning environment. AUCA partners with uh, 60 institutions abroad uh, has a bilateral agreements with many universities in uh, in South Asia, Western and Eastern Europe, uh, U, uh, US uh, and other region, which allows AUCA students to spend a semester abroad and over 40 clubs and students organizations exist in AUCA. Student Life Office manages all extracurricular entertainment and club activities. Uh, international Students Office uh, helps all international students with their adjustments issues. So basically AUCA is uh, created uh, for students and their needs. Whatever they need with any help they need, they can reach out to the Student Life section or International Students Office and uh, solve their problem and get help anytime, uh, anywhere. Next slide, please. Okay. AUCA Global Connect. Uh, as I mentioned above, AUCA Network, uh, AUCA connects with more than uh, 50, uh, 50 uh, exchange, has, uh, AUCA offers more than uh, 50 exchange programs in more than 24 countries, starting from Paris to Ber Berlin and Seoul to St. Petersburg. Uh, AUCA network of international partners gives opportunity to explore the world and uh, spend a semester uh, in with an exchange program in one of the countries uh, mentioned in the list you see. Okay, next. All right, AUCA international accreditation. The dual diploma, Kyrgyz plus US diploma, what it means. It means that uh, for graduates majoring in economics, software engineering, and applied mathematics and informatics, um, the, they will receive dual diploma, which is a Kyrgyz government diploma and diploma accredited in the United States through the partnership with Bard College in New York and AUCA business administration program, they will receive international accreditation from the Associ Association of Chartered Certifica Certified Asso Accountants, ACCA, a global association of finance and accounting professionals. Business administration is not part of the academic program at Bard College, uh, so therefore graduates from this department do not receive an American diploma, but they will receive an uh, ACCA uh, certificate. Uh, but this doesn't mean that uh, the value of AUCA, it doesn't uh, diminish the, the value of AUCA diploma. According to statics, statistics from uh, both the universities and the USKF program, business administration graduates are constantly the most employable uh, employable students. Okay, next slide, please. All right, AUCA life. Uh, as I have mentioned in previous slides, there are clubs that you can join, students can join while studying at AUCA. There are uh, clubs like 
uh, case club, student theater called Mirror, financial accounting club, the New Stars, the debate club, Enactus, and other clubs. You can join any of them as an extra uh, and uh, have extracurricular activities with them or uh, team building activities. But uh, if a UCA doesn't offer a club that matches, matches your interest, you can create your own club if you find a sufficient number of students interested in attending your club. Next slide, please. Okay, AUCA dormitory. The main thing probably while living abroad, while living in Bishkek, um, AUCA international dormitory accepts uh, up to 140 students every year and provides all necessary facilities for students. The AUCA International Dormitory is a separate building that includes four uh, residential floors and ground floor, which includes a classroom, a common area, and a basement that includes free area, kitchen, and laundry. Next slide, please. Okay, do you need to, do applicants need to apply to AUCA? Yes, of course all candidates must apply for the first round of admissions to AUCA. Second round admissions are not eligible. In order to be eligible for USKF scholarship, you have to apply for the first round of admissions of AUCA. Uh, AUCA application is separate, is completely separate from, AUC, uh, from USKF application. If you applied for USKF, uh, you filled up the USKF application part one and part two. It does not mean that you got accepted for AUCA. So therefore you, uh, each applicant must independently contact AUCA and follow all admission requirements. Uh, for more details, you should visit uh, www.auca.kg uh, where you can find all the uh, necessary information for applying and uh, getting admitted to AUCA. Next slide, please. Thank you. Uh, financial application. To be eligible uh, for USKF application, students must apply for AUCA financial aid. Uh, while you are applying for contacting AUCA admissions office, you should ask what kind of uh, financial application you need, uh, get the uh, financial application list for AUCA and gather all the documents uh, of um, by the deadline that AUCA has set. Uh, and once you apply for financial aid, then you will be eligible for the to continue as a second round part second round participant of USKF program. Uh, once you are apply uh, applied, once you have applied for AUCA financial aid, uh, then uh, you can uh, you can continue as a USKF uh, USKF applicant. For more details, again, you can uh, find out the information at 3w.auca.kg. Next slide, please. <clears throat> okay, AUCA entrance exams. How and where you can uh, uh, apply for AUCA and what kind of exams they have. Uh, mostly the basic information is in their website, but students may choose to take AUCA admissions exams or optionally to take their equivalent. What are the equivalent of AUCA uh, exams? Uh, and they are um, TOEFL, uh, IBT or PBT, uh, and IELTS or SAT. Uh, SAT has to be SAT math and essay part. You have to have two scores to provide scores from SAT math and essay, and also TOEFL or IELTS course. If you do not have any of these um, AUCA exams equivalents, it uh, doesn't, uh, it's not such a big deal. It's uh, not required. Uh, if you don't have any of these score in e of these test scores, it's okay. You can uh, submit, uh, you can apply um, in for the first, um, first cohort exams of AUCA uh, when we'll start in February, 
uh, and uh, take AUCA exams. Once passed and got admitted to AUCA, then you can continue as USKF applicant. Next slide, please. Okay. USKF timeline. The approximate schedule to follow for admissions for a USKF program is as follows. Uh, September is uh, the USKF application opens and competition is announced. September till December applicants uh, have to complete their USKF applications, part one and part two, collect all the paperwork and contact AUCA uh, and ask about the admissions requirements and January, the USKF application deadline uh, and round one will start. Uh, February, the reg register for AUCA exams will start. And if you took TOEFL, IELTS or ACT, SAT or ACT um, and your scores meet the AUCA minimum requirement, then you can safely submit your documents to the university. Uh, which documents, uh, the doc, the financial documents, I mean, and March, April, AUCA exams and round one results are going to be announced. April interviews for with the semi-finalists will take place. Um, applicants must submit their financial applications for the AUCA and May, a USKF final uh, selection. Uh, June, USKF final results will be announced, and August, new USKF fellows will begin their studies at AUCA. Next slide, please. Okay, the USKF application 2021. Uh, online application. Uh, this year, we launched the online application, and our online application has two parts. The part one is basic info and where you need to have your passport, uh, your uh, and a picture uh, and just uh, email, correct email address. Uh, for online application, uh, we strong, uh, they strongly preferred to fill up the online application and follow the instructions on the USKF website. The USKF website is uh, 3w.uskf.org. Uh, and as I mentioned, our application consists of two parts. You have to, for part one, you have to create a profile page and complete the application, attach the requirement, required documents and submit your application. For paper application, for those who have limited access to the internet and cannot submit the online application, can fill up the paper application. Uh, it is uh, a fillable PDF format, a PDF document, uh, which can be downloaded and filled up uh, using the computer. You can type in your information in the document and you do not have to write uh, anything in the uh, in the application uh, with hand. You don't, nothing has to be handwritten. Everything has to be typed. Once you um, fill up the application, the PDF document, you send, you complete it, you check it again, and then email it to uskf.tj at americancouncils.org. For further questions, you can reach out uh, using uh, our website. There is a, a frequently asked questions. You can take a look or just leave your question. We will reach out to you or contact our office, American Councils in Tajikistan, and get in touch with uh, US Kyiv coordinator with me uh, and ask your questions. All right. Thank you so much, Zara. Um, I, I just wanted to pop back on and, and say that, um, you know, uh, th this is such a tremendous um, opportunity, the, the, the prospect of a full four year um, scholarship uh, to fully covered with stipend is is pretty tremendous. So um, and, and all this talk about AUCA has got me kind of wanting to go back to school. <laughs> So thank, thank you so much, Zara. Um, 
Um, I, at this point, I think um, I think maybe we want to we want to turn it over to Matt Raj. Um, he's got some of the frequently asked questions, and I know a lot of you out there are are probably uh, eager to to know a little bit more. Um, obviously, I think um, you know the, the best way to learn as much as you can about the program is to go to uskf.org and um, you know follow the follow the links to the the application. But if you you have any questions, um, Matt Roj is going to be fielding any of those and we'll see what we can answer. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll try, we'll, we'll do it in Tajik, Russian, whatever you guys need. Yeah. So. Good. Good. So, so far we don't have any questions from our online um, audience, uh, but uh, so throughout your presentation, Zara and Jace, um, I've noticed that, um, you know, some questions need to be uh, Asked. So the first question is like, who will review the application and what is an ideal candidate or applicant for USKF scholarship program? Two different questions. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The yeah. application will be reviewed, reviewed by individuals uh, who do not work in our office, but they will be hired only to uh, review the applications and there will be, uh, they're basically the U.S. expat or expats or uh, somebody who does not work in uh, American Council of Tajikistan, uh, who is outside of the organization. They will so, evaluate the applications. So it will be reviewed by independent committee um, or yes. individuals. Uh, thank you. Um, and oh, what is an ideal um, applicant for USKF? The ideal applicant for USKF would be the uh, per the student who is need of financial um, uh, fin who is in financial need and uh, has a good uh, academic and uh, academic background uh, and also good leadership skills. Um, and Mehraj, I, I guess I just want to add it. Often, often people think. Um, that that knowledge of English is like the most important thing. Well, you know, there's a lot more to a successful candidate than just knowing English. You know, of course, um, you know, coursework over at AUCA is is going to be conducted in English. So, you know, there is a a, a minimum level, but but we're not expecting you know people to be fully 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 fluent. Um, I mean, you know, and, and I think Zara, Zara can uh, add to that, but, uh, but really we're looking for um, organized thoughts. We want people with the maturity uh, ma that are mature enough to, to kind of lay out what their grand plan is and what they would like to achieve at AUCA and then what they would like to achieve afterwards. That's those are the key. That's those are kind of the key components for a successful applicant. Right. Well, yeah, it will. It was well noted because um, a lot of applicants after, um, you know, their failure of application comes up and also, like, you know, my English is better than certain individuals. And like, you know, this I think, yeah, it, exactly. It was well right. covered. And the next question is, I have noticed that on the list of the subject, there is no hum humanity studies. Um, so uh, what, what, do you, uh, what do you say for those students who, who are like less science oriented? What are your thoughts, Zara? I, I mean, personally, I came from a humanities background, um, you know, and, and that has its place. Um, now the, the the goal of of the fellowship though is to is to generate uh, successful and 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 western minded uh, business leaders here in the region and and so strategically that's the core of course you, you know uh, and and I think um, software engineering goes right along those lines so yes it's a slightly more technical um, fellowship, but that's kind of the goal behind the, the funding and the way it works. Um, there are definitely going to be opportunities out there for humanity. Yes. But this KF is a little bit different. A little bit different. I agree. Um, well, good to know. And then, so the next question comes up about the financing to students. And so Zara noted there, the financial part goes based on the percentage, right? and um, to fully fund its scholarship. Mm -hmm. uh, and 
basically to you know to what from what percentage can USKF uh, program cover uh, 40 or 50 and what do they actually take into account while uh, while you know making this division do you mean the percentage of the applicant that gonna be yeah of the uh, tuition coverage okay uh, tuition coverage is fully covered by mm -hmm. USKF like four, uh, four years will be fully funded by USKF, like all the tuition fees covered. Also, we'll be, we will um, provide uh, stipends, uh, travel expenses. So their tickets are going back to Bishkek and coming returning to Tajikistan is covered. And also the housing allowance and book allowance, which will let them to uh, buy, uh, purchase their uh, educational needs. Okay, good. And um, the last, if you do, you have anything to add, Jay? So we can move to. Oh, I just wanted to, you know, reiterate what I said earlier. Is uh, you know, the 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 prospect of a full four year with stipend, with book allowance, with <laughs> travel, you know, that's, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's a very big opportunity, um, yeah. and, but it is very competitive because of. That. I agree. Yeah. And um, so talking about, uh, you know, the competition, how many application only from Tajikistan you will receive and how many of them will be uh, granted the scholarship? Each year it's uh, is different. We do not have the exact number for Tajikistan, but we have the number for all four countries in Central Asia. For example, if we receive uh, 300 application from those 330 applicants will be the finalists. The finalists. Oh, great. And then um, also taking into account the current situation with the pandemic and how the testing system goes and how do you test? Is it Does it go online or um, you arrange physical testing days? The testing is going to be online as it took uh, place last year. It was held in our office, but uh, everything was online. There was only one person monitoring all the applicants, uh, how they take the tests, to take the exams. And those who had uh, TOEFL scores who met their AUCA requirements, they did not take, uh, they did not need to take um, AUCA English test or if they had SAT mass, they did not have to take mass test. So if you have something equivalent to AUCA uh, exams, then you do not need to take AUCA exams. But if you do not have any uh, of uh, TOEFL, SAT, IELTS, or ACT, then uh, you will take AUCA exams in the spring. The date of the exams for Tajikistan will be updated uh, close to end of January, February in AUCA website. Uh, uh, applicants can look up there and uh, stay updated and uh, all the exams will be inline but on online closer to the date we will also i will also get in touch with them and uh, make sure they registered and pass the exam thank you so much i think we covered pretty much everything okay awesome yeah thanks Madhuraj. um i i i want to wrap up mostly uh, uh oh did we lose Madhuraj? Okay. <laughs> i don't know uh, I, I, I want to wrap up just by uh, pointing out that um, that that application deadline is January 11th and it might seem like you have a lot of time, but it's a pretty extensive application. Um, so make sure that you are you're moving on that. If you want to apply that you you start working on it now because it takes a while. There's the two parts. I agree. If you have already uh, filled up the part one, I would suggest you to hurry up and fill up the part two because it requires some documents and uh, the part two might seem easy, but still it needs to be like, then you need to write some essays and uh, gather some documents. And then the main thing, you have to independently apply for AUCA. Okay. All right, well, I think that's it from our end on the American Council side. Uh, I, I just want to thank uh, American Spaces for, for, for setting this up for us. And I hope everyone has an excellent International Education Week. For us at American Councils, 
this is a this is a great time um, is where we get to showcase what American Councils is all about. So, yeah, thank you, thank you guys very much. Thank you so much. And yeah, please join us for the next sessions and have a good one.